During the campaign, then-candidate Donald Trump said he can't release his tax returns while he's being audited, though the IRS says he's allowed. This couple from Vermont say they think it's important lawmakers share this information before they're elected. And if their financial realities are hidden from us, then we're not confident. And so this lack of confidence creates a doubt in the democratic process. Bill Butler is a jeweler from Jericho. He's encouraging fellow Vermonters to call for full financial disclosure for future presidential candidates. He says to him, it's not about Mr. Trump specifically. It's about the precedent this president set. If Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders had been president without revealing their financial situation, I'd be doing this today, still. And, and this is beyond tax returns, too. We want financial clarity. Bill and his wife, Susan Harrett, say speaking out on town meeting day can show support for two bills that both call for presidential candidates to release their tax returns in order to get on the state's ballot. And this certainly concerns our town because some of our local representatives are co-sponsors of H243. That's House Bill 243. That and Senate Bill 77 are making their way through Montpelier right now. I think that uh, your tax forms tell a lot about what kind of a person you are. And I think it's important that everyone do the same thing. Representative Kathleen Keenan says there's no telling exactly how long it would take for the bill to become law or if it will at all. But she says Vermont isn't the only state calling for this type of transparency. In Colchester, Renee Wonderlich, NBC5 News.